My dad is a swim coach. My mom is a swimming and diving coach. Um, my dad swam in college. My mom swam and dove in college. So they um, had a club team growing up in my small town in New Hampshire. So my sister swam and I dove. I did a little bit of swimming growing up as well. But um, I mean, I grew up with all four of us on the pool deck together, which was super special. It would be me and my mom on the diving side and my sister and my dad on the swimming side. So, I mean, I was always around the pool. I grew up there. Um, and my mom coached me until I was about 14. Um, and then I ended up moving to Indiana um, to be on the then National Training Center and dove there all throughout high school and then um, ended up getting a scholarship to go to IU. So then ended up diving for Drew in college. And this is my 10th year now diving for Drew. So Yep, it's been my whole life. <laughs> a family affair for Jessica Parado and her family. Parado was raised on a pool deck and grew up a National Training Center product, which Parado credits her love and passion for the sport. I mean, definitely a lot of hours put into that pool at the Natatorium in Indianapolis training. Um, I would train there about seven hours a day. I was homeschooled, so after diving, I would go home and do school. So pretty crazy um, to do one year in high school, but I loved it. Um, it's it kind of is where my passion for platform diving came about. And um, John Wingfield was my coach throughout that time. And um, I mean, I couldn't be where I am today without John. He's he's been absolutely amazing throughout, especially that process. A two time Olympian and 2020 silver medalist, Parado thought she was ready for retirement. While Parado was in Fort Lauderdale this winter training, she quickly realized that she had the itch to get back on the platform. I was doing 10 meter kind of a little bit after Tokyo, but then, you know, my plan was always to retire. So, yeah, it had been a long time, um, but in the years um, or in the weeks prior to that, um, I was talking a lot to Delaney about um, just thinking about coming back. You know, she kind of reeled me in a little bit with it. But at the end of the day, it was my decision, obviously, to come back. And I really just wanted to do um, 10 meter synchro and kind of just put my focus towards that and all my energy towards that. That time off made Parado realize how much she missed diving. I mean, I feel like I almost needed that time off just to get back to normal life. Um, I'm not really experienced that in my adult life. So just to have the time off with family, friends, um, you know, having a, you know, real job um, and just experiencing life that way. And that's just kind of what I needed, I think, to just reset. And I really didn't know I was going to come back to diving. Um, but I think just having that experience and knowing that life after diving is, you know, is great as well. It's another amazing chapter. And um, it's going to be there for me when I um, eventually do retire. As Parado makes the push for Paris, she has advice for upcoming divers who have Olympic dreams. You know, no matter where you are, you know, in your athletic career and no matter how young you are, if you feel like you're behind or, you know, you say you haven't made like a junior national or senior national meet yet and you feel like all of your friends or teammates are, be patient. Um, I wasn't always the best diver. I was never this phenomenal junior diver that was winning all these national titles. It takes time um, and we all can peak at different times. And if you really have these goals and, you know, you just stay the course and you trust your coaches and you have the passion behind it, I think absolutely anything is possible because trust me, my 10 year old self would never believe where I am now. So anything is possible, um, you know, trust yourself, trust your training and anything can happen. For USA Diving, I'm Natalie Calabat-Witten.